Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2020 here at the Roslo Gaming World we're playing Bath City Football Club trying to take them to the top of the Premier League and beyond. We are in our second season here in the Valera National League and we had a great great start to the season but uh, the last few matches episodes we haven't really been playing at the same level and that kind of shows here as well in the league that we have uh, slowly dropped. And unfortunately, the board isn't as happy with us anymore either, with some notable criticism. Um, but hopefully we can turn things around as soon as possible. Today, though, we have uh, at least one tough match or two tough matches. Uh, next up is against Billy K, which should be a tough match, but they are actually lost in the league. And I believe we won both meetings last season looking at the thingy there in the top left corner but i'll see you at the match day if nothing super interesting happens before that so short break and see you there so match day done and uh, yeah we're very clear favorites and we won both matches last season so let's go to the lineup here and see what we can improve on of course we should put in kirk instead of rowan again Otherwise, Brooking, Kirk, Widget, Jones, Sanko, Smith, Greg, Miltrud, uh, Cashman, and Bront, yes. Uh, Sanko, no, we should play Edwards. And you are in attack, right? Yeah. And Cashman is up to four and a half stars. Have you improved, really? I don't think you have. But uh, nonetheless, let's go to match and hope for a good match here. And. Uh, Hope we can do something good here and turn things around a little bit in our very bad run that we have had for quite a while. So let's uh, hand over to Assistant Times 2 and end the team talking. Just play here and comment away like we always do. And like always, uh, you got to wait for the first highlight to really. Uh, comment away anything. So the first highlight is here in the seventh minute. Mutruk with the ball passing back to Kirk here in the defense, passing to Wiget and we get with a uh, opening pass to Mutruk on the left hand side, but dribbling inwards. But uh, opening up there to Jones on the left hand side, crosses in and to Cashman and Sagal for Bassett here in the seventh minute. But what did the keeper do there? What the hell happened there? He threw himself at the cross. Or at least it looked like it. So let's see here. Three pass to Jones. And the cross. Yeah, yeah. But did it hit the crossbar or something? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you guys can see. Did that ball actually hit the crossbar or not? Nonetheless, we take the lead. And we are very happy with that, of course. And we are also happy... Looking at the stats because it looks like we are dominating totally. Next up, a uh, free kick from Brunt to Wigget, and it's another goal for Bassett here in the 20 minute mark. Uh, good uh, good free kick there by Brunt, I guess, but uh, super finish by Wigget. And Wigget is really a star player for us. So happy that we managed to sign him, pick him up, and we took a gamble on, on him because he's been. Uh, Really sublime for us so far this season. And uh, yeah, he's a little bit on the tired side, but we have a couple of players that are in that. And, uh, it's fine, and we're actually getting a long break after this match, so everyone should be really fit after that. And speaking about that, we see also that Bill Gate players are pretty uh, knackered uh, here. <laughs> a lot of players have. Uh, is below 70% here before the end of the first half, actually. And it's a goal for Billy Kader in the 45th minute. So they managed to reduce the lead here before the end of the first half. So the score line now one to two, well, not one, two to one for City versus Billy Kay. Good passing there, back and forth uh, by Billy Kay. Opening up to that chance. And uh, yeah, a little bit of lucky on balls there, and, and uh, good finish from Rocco for sure, though. So we'll say that they were a little bit lucky there, but we're leading halftime. Uh, everything is looking good uh, so far. 
and the play rate is, is good as well so far. So we'll just continue and just hope that we can continue to play in a good manner. And uh, we're probably looking to do subs here around the 60 minute mark actually, because we have quite a few players that are quite tired here. Mutruk among them, so uh, Mutruk is definitely going to be switched off for Senko. And then, of course, we have a Wigget who's on the Thai side, but Jones as well. So I guess we are doing what? Rowan in instead of Wigget or Kerr? Jones, I mean. Uh, I think you're going in instead of Jones, actually. And uh, I think we are getting in with Asante instead of Brunt. And uh, Hope that that is going to work and hope that we don't get any injuries or anything like that as we're not having any more players to sub in or rather we are not allowed to sub in any more players uh, with the rules as they are. And it seems to be no more highlights here and it seems also that we are not creating any chances here in the second half but that's all right because that's the final whistle and the final scoreline for Bassett versus Pelike and is 2-2-1. Shots 10 to 5, shots on target 5 to 2, possession 59 to 41%. So a good result. Maybe not the best match we have played for sure. It's all right, but we could have. Uh, it, it it was wouldn't have been bad if we saw even more from the players. They had all right ratings, but nothing more than that. That did bring us up to fourth place again. No, actually, in the table and still only seven points off from the league leaders. Seven points clear of uh, dropping out of the playoff zone at the moment. So a good jump there, I believe. 353 attending that game, so that's also pretty good. Martinez not really playing. Richard's having just an all right match. And as you see, there are 14 days to the next match. This would be uh, the FA Cup first round in the middle, I believe. But since we got knocked out in the quality, terrible loss there. But... Uh, We'll have a long break, but uh, that I will definitely not hurt the players. It's, it's a hectic playing time here for quite a while. But uh, I'll roll forward here and uh, see you at the match day if nothing else happens. The next match day is here, and uh, the one that should have been actually got postponed into December, so we had an even longer break because we managed to play our match against uh, Sunderland uh, in a friendly there as well. But here we are meeting Carlisle, and the match after that is going to be against Torquay. So two very tough matches here as a way team. We're underdogs here, not that bad, but we are. So let's see here if we can surprise. That would be very nice, and everyone is fit and nice to play, so that's good. Our bench players are lacking sharp match sharpness, but that is also all right. Uh, they are playing in the under 20 Swiss, hopefully to get more sharpness. And uh, yeah, let's kick off and play and comment and uh, see where that gets us. So we have a highlight here directly in the first minute. It's Carlisle with the ball. And uh, or not, oh yeah, Carlisle with the attack rather or with the momentum. A Mo with the ball here on the right hand side. Driving past and Willie Cross. Yeah, the cross is coming now. Passes back to Muckle. Oh who crosses towards Kelly, but we managed to clear it out to Kamwa, but still in Carlisle's hands. And now on the left-hand side from Anderton across towards Ammo, and it's a header over the crossbar though, so uh, no, no goal at least. Uh, I shouldn't say no threat, because it were definitely a threat since they were able to attack the goal. So a little bit of a slower time period here after this and stat wise it looks like it's pretty even so far and not too much happening in uh, the game. We are we are all right with a draw here for sure. Uh, definitely and uh, uh, against Torquay as well so we're looking here to just play pretty stable. Uh, we see that the stats are now going up a little bit for Carline in terms of shots and everything so but the, there weren't any more highlights than the first there in the first minute, so that's good. And uh, halftime, we are, are 
all a draw. And overall, the players started playing well, actually, They're looking at the ratings. So that is nice. And let's see here. Front getting uh, something. Well, not an injury, but uh, getting challenged there. And uh, next up, first highlight here in the second half is for Carlisle. Again, it looks like McCullough with uh, a cross. But we able to solve it out. And Edwards with the ball. And will he get it back? Yeah. Get it back. So a chance for a counter-attack here from Bass City. Edwards with a huge run and shoots, but saved it over out for a corner there. Uh, very good stuff there by Edwards, actually. And here is Mutruk with the corner. And uh, not really reaching anyone, uh, but a chance for Carlisle to do a counter-attack here. Uh, one, two versus five shouldn't be a problem, but it might be. Jones solving that very nicely and uh, away with the ball. And yeah, Brant is getting back up here now. Should have been switched out there directly if uh, we were to switch him out due to that knock at least. We might have been still. Uh, let's check this highlight first. Corner from Mutruk to Brant and it's a goal for Bass City in the 73rd minute. So we can sw switch him off now, I guess. And uh, let's let's have a look here on the, who we are going to sub out before we look on the replay. So who should we sub? Uh, someone in defense, maybe. Yeah, let's switch Brooking out in the, the midfield. Let's have... Uh, Let's have Mutruk out, who's a little bit on the tired side. He's done his bit, and uh, Asant is on, or Brant is tired, so uh, we'll take in uh, Asante, and that is a little bit of a defense move as well, which is definitely suitable now as we're leading. Uh, yeah, but great stuff there from both Mutruk and Brunt. We are very, very, very happy with that, and I uh, don't know what sort of... Uh, accent I got there, but uh, we're happy with it. Very happy with it. And uh, five minutes to go, and another highlight there. Asante with a free kick towards Kirk, and it's another goal for Bassett here in the 88th minute, extending our lead to 2-0. Two, two so I think we are all right now for sure to win uh, this match, and that is pretty nice. So thumbs up for that if you're enjoying and uh, like that we are winning our match. So Smash away on that button and also if you haven't done so yet, make sure to follow along by subscribing to the channel and as you're doing that, you can hit that small notification bell to be really sure to not miss out on anything. If you're interested in uh, supporting the channel even more, look in, uh, look in the description in the links there and check out the membership tab. You can have some pretty cool uh, uh, perks if you get or if you become a member. You can get to name my one youth player per youth intake, per game year in either FIFA manager or football manager. But let's get back to the focus to the highlight here, highlight here because Cashman getting two chances there to really finish the match off. And uh, we're still not over with highlights here. So another highlight here in the 90s are minute and again for Bath City. So the highlights have definitely been docile. I think we only have seen Carlisle's highlight first minute there other than that it's been for basically cashman getting through here one one versus the keeper but it's saved uh, and edwards uh, in control of the ball but uh, not really getting there and we are having more highlights still here in the very last minute of the match carlisle finally with a chance here i guess then uh, cross in and it's uh, not really re reaching anywhere and, it, and it's out for a throw in So let's see here what comes out of this throwing then. The ball to Makolo. And Bassett actually snatching that ball up and just waiting for the final whistle now, which should come any second. But Guy have the ball passing to Shorters and to Dixon. And Dixon will with a chance, but uh, quite a long way out of the post or out of the goal actually. And the final whistle should come now. And there it is. So full time result. 2 to 0 for Bassett versus Carlisle, shots 11 to 16, shots on target 4 to 6, and position 53 to 47%.
totally a good match and very, very nice and very good performance by the lads. Really proud of them here. And uh, yeah, great, great stuff there. And exactly what we want to see. Still fourth in the league, eight points up to the league leaders. And uh, still seven points clear of dropping out of the playoff zone. And uh, we have a new president for your club, Lindsay, instead of uh, Bluefield. So good that we got in a new contract before that. And uh, new vision will commence shortly uh, or soon, I guess. Uh, that's all right. We'll we'll probably drop in to see how that goes. Rich is having a good game and will praise Kurt for his performance. But other than that, we'll see you at the next match day in uh, three days against Torquay after this short break. So we have come to the last match of uh, this episode and it's going to be against Torquay, which according to the bookmakers are an even sort of affair. I hope it is. Uh, last time around, we draw one and lost one match, or last season, not the last time around, but last season. We get here on the really tired side, so we put in Rowan instead of him, unfortunately, I got to say. Uh, and uh, no one else, well, Kirk could use a rest, but uh, we're not going to be able to really give that to him, uh, as we're not really having anyone decent enough to sub him out of. We have Rowan, but we really didn't want to uh, switch uh, we get off as such, but we gotta do it, uh, I think. So let's play here and uh, comment away, and let's see where this gets us. We're again on the cautious mentality here, uh, thinking that we are playing a little bit uh, more of a defense uh defense def defensive game and uh we'll see here first highlight of the match is for torquay on a counter-attack here Reed and through to whitfield arm was there but cray coming from nowhere uh saving that uh very dangerous uh dangerous ball but uh, a poor pass there and uh, the ball up to kalala here for torquay passing to andrews He's driven forward and passing forward to Whitfield and cut to Casella and out to Kalala on the right hand side and able to cross it. Yeah, crossing it in in a very dangerous zone. Andrews with a shot, but over the crossbar. So that's good. Yeah, looking at the stats here, 20 minutes in or so, and not much have happened. We are seem to be having the ball quite a bit as we're having a clear advantage in terms of possession but other than that it looks like uh, it's all right ish but uh, as i'm saying that Torquay come in with super many shots and chances but nothing we get to see so that's good at least half time and it's still a draw and uh, stats are looking all right other than I said that they got away with quite many shots there in the end rating solar player is Players are very good, so let's just continue and let's hope we can play good here in the second half and do something similar that we did in the match against uh, Carlisle. So first highlight here in the second half though, it's Torquay with the ball currently and uh, Kirk there picking that ball up, that uh, poor pass. Craig then being forward here and passing wide to Mutruk. Uh, prolongs to Jones, but not really prolonging. Uh, Jones able to cross it still to Cashman, and it's headed over the crossbar. So, <laughs> so a good chance there that uh, unfortunately didn't uh, net. And uh, yeah, we're having quite a few players here that is tired, so we're going to bring in. Uh, yeah, I don't really like this, but we've got to do it. Sanko instead of uh, Kirk, and Asas instead of. Uh, Mutruk, who are two players that are really, really tired, don't really want to bring in uh, Wiget, so I could put in, yeah, we're, we're going with the gamble here and putting in Asante instead of Bront and let him play in a more defensive way, so uh, a little bit, of, again, 
to the more defensive side, but that did work out for us in the last episode or last match. So hopefully we can keep it together for a draw at least. And uh, best case scenario, find a break or a counter attack here in the last few minutes. And we do get a highlight here in the 86 minutes, but it's uh, Torquay with the ball at the moment. Uh, but uh, that's it. Did. Able to snap that poor pass up and the ball to Edwards here on the right hand side, passing back to Smith and to Brooking on the right hand side as well, very much in the middle of the field. Where they pitch passing to Rowan and back to Brooking here and to Rowan. So what are you doing, Rowan? Getting dispossessed like that. Whitfield here, one on one versus our keeper, and it's saved. Thanks heaven for that. And Jones clearing it out there. And uh, that's the stuff we want to see uh, after a miss like that. Rowan otherwise having a good game there. And that's the final whistle and the final goal. And uh, for Torquay, or Bassett versus Torquay is 0 to 0. Shots 4 to 15, shots on target 2 to 8, possession 67 to 33%. So we're all a good match. We're all, uh, would say kind of fair result if we're looking on uh, the actual chances that we got to see. Stat wise, maybe not so much. Uh, performance of the lads, overall good rating. So quite quite happy with that, quite pleased with that. And well, yeah, overall quite pleased with that that we didn't lose any more points. Uh, still fourth in the league, 10 points up to the league leaders, and five points clear of dropping out of the playoff zone. So still very, very good. 1348 attending the game and uh, Asante Wu's 10 the goal drought, which would be good, of course, but uh, not really needed as such. But anyway, that will be everything for this episode. So hope <laughs> hope that you have enjoyed and thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. You have been watching Rollsclaw Gaming and I hope you have enjoyed. On clicking on the video on the left you will see the next video in this series and on the right our latest upload to the channel. And with that said, thank you again for watching.